This week on Jaguar Spots, take a sip with the top five Minneapolis coffee shops, log in to online classes, and check out Project Lead the Way. Get ready, Jags. Jaguar Spots is next. Good morning, Jefferson. Jefferson. This is your goofy anchor, Austin Nelson. And this is your chill anchor, Jerway Blaubach. Say, Jerway, have you heard of PLTW? I don't think so. I think it's something called Project Lead the Way. Oh, really? Let's go to Ben Canavo with the story. With registration coming up, you should start familiarizing yourself with some of the classes offered here at Jefferson. If you are interested in engineering, you should take a look at the PLTW classes with us. Uh, a national curriculum that goes across the uh, United States where students can learn uh, STEM education and then um, take a class and eventually get college credit for it. Project Lead Love classes aren't like the classes you are used to. Probably how the engineering class would really be taught, not really too much teaching going on, more of just working on the actual project and kind of learning by experience and that's how most engineering goes. Um, like engineers, they you should, they like to think um, freely, so there's, it's somewhat structured, but you're also able to branch off and like do your own thing. Uh, the cool thing about it is uh, they're hands-on, so you're moving around in class, you're just not sitting there uh, in a lecture-type atmosphere. They're making projects, doing all sorts of different things. And then at the end of each course, uh, you go for your college credit, which is if you uh, make the college credit, you get um, credit for the University of Minnesota or St. Cloud State or Mankato or ones across um, MSOE in Milwaukee all over the place. There are a lot of reasons to take PLTW classes. Taking a Project Lead the Way class, you have uh, take care of your STEM credit for, towards graduation. A couple of the classes, actually, you can get an art elective with, with them too. Uh, well, every single PLTW class, you get a I believe it's a five or a higher on, or a four or a higher on, on the final test, you get college credit for that class. After taking these classes, students get an idea of what engineering is like. I've wanted to be an engineer since I was little, but these classes have like reinforced the fact that I want to be an engineer, and they've also like taught me different branches of engineering that I could go to, so they're showing me options. Well, it seems much harder than I originally thought, but it's much more satisfying when you can get a project done, and basically all PLTW courses are is just projects with large amounts of work with them. If you want to learn more about PLTW, talk to Mr. Vertigan in room A104. This has been Ben Knappel reporting for Jaguar Spots. That seems like an interesting program. I wish I could sign up for that program. It looks fun. Speaking of programs, have you heard about the online classes? Yes, I have. Aren't they here at Jefferson? Yes, they are. Let's go to David Little with the story. Have you ever wanted to take a class where you get to learn on your own terms? If so, then online classes might be for you. We asked Principal Anderson, Mrs. Roeder, and a student who is currently taking online classes to get more information. Uh, there are several core classes. There's English, there's math, there's um, a couple of electives being built. So there's about 13 different courses being written right now with a couple more going, uh, being worked on next year. So it's mostly gonna be Moodle. It's gonna be self-directed, so students who struggle keeping themselves on task 
Um, this may not work out well for, but uh, it'll be a mixture of Jefferson and Kennedy. It's a Bloomington school, public schools project, so it'll be a mixture of Kennedy and Jefferson teachers. So uh, there is a possibility that a, a, a Kennedy teacher is teaching Jefferson students, uh, being that it's online, it should work out okay. Mrs. Roeder explained how FIED would work in an online setting. It's going to be 100% online, so we're developing the class currently. And from week to week, you're going to have uh, academic assignments, and then you'll also be required to do some fitness requirements each week as well. FIED is a little unique in that uh, our big standard is to be physically active. And with that standard, um, students will be required to be physically active um, each week and submit video logs of that activity. A student who is currently enrolled in online classes shared his experiences. Well, online courses are very similar in a sense to a normal course. However, since it's online, a lot of it is writing. So if you don't have good writing skills, you might struggle a bit in it because online courses require, well, they don't require, but they give you a ton of autonomy. And in the case of Northern Star, the teacher isn't necessarily there for you to walk to or to monitor. Since it's online, there's no real set schedule. It's you do what you want to do, and all of the assignments are already posted in advance. So if you want to take a bunch one day and none the next day, you are by all, you by all means can feel free to do so. Who should sign up are kids that want to give uh, an online class a shot. We generally don't recommend younger students, you know, but anyone could register for a, an online class, 9 through 12. Uh, we do recommend older students, 11th grade, 12th grade, give at least one a try. Um, online gym is set up for those that have a really busy schedule and they are in foreign language or uh, fine arts and band or music and just have um, either double math or a really tight schedule that they can't fit their FIED in for the six period day. So I think that one of the important parts of online is knowing what you're getting yourself into. Online courses require a lot of drive, so if you feel like you'll slack off and be distracted during these courses, it's definitely not a good idea for you to do it. The future of learning is now. This has been David Little reporting for Jaguar Spots. I really want to sign up for online classes next year now. Just thinking of classes make me really thirsty. Thirsty for coffee? Maybe. Why? Well, I'll ask Nora about the top five coffee shops in Minneapolis. Good idea. Let's go to Normal League with the story. Minneapolis is filled with hole-in-the-wall cafes. Here are five of my favorite coffee shops in Minneapolis. 1. Angry Catfish Bicycle and Coffee Bar. I didn't come up with it personally. Um, Josh and Thomas had a vision for a, um, a high-end bike shop, kind of doing a little bit of everything. Um, but also combining it with coffee because the love of those go hand in hand. And Two, Turtle Bread Company. Um, it was founded like 20 years ago by our owner, uh, Harvey McLean. That's sort of like, honestly, a hobby for him, but it kind of grew more than he expected it to. And this is where we make all of the bread, all the pastries, for the other two restaurants, which are in Linden Hills and Longfellow. Three, Corner Coffee Uptown. Well, our managers came from California and they were big coffee gurus out there and they wanted to just kind of take what they learned there and come here. That's just we roast our own beans. So all of ours get roasted here in the Uptown location and then we deliver them to the other ones so they're super fresh. <laughs> Every Saturday we have live music and they come in here and it actually gets pretty loud. There's a lot of people in here. Four, Peace Coffee. Um, I think the inspiration was way back when there used to be a carnival that was located in the spot. Um, so they kind of brought it back and themed as like Wonderland Park. Um, I mean, it might be just the different aspects of the shop, like how uh, Disco Ball used to be from uh, the Madonna Ballroom. And then, um, yeah, it's one of those, like all the benches are made out of like a foreclosed house that was across the street. Um, so, yeah. Five, Vicinity Coffee. My favorite part about Vicinity is probably twofold. One, I get to listen to my own music at work, which is underrated. Um, second, I love the community of people that come around here. Community, quality, um, and service. Go take a sip at these top five Minneapolis coffee shops. This has been Nora Malik reporting for Jaguar Spots.
Those places look good. I can't decide which one to go to. All I know is they all look good. I may just go to all of them. Before you do that, we still have last, last minute, minute announcements. announcements. Ha ha, just kidding. We're going online today. Well, Austin, I guess it's time to close out the show. Why, yes, it is your way. This has been your chill anchor, Drew Blaubach. And your goofy anchor, Austin Nelson. See, See you around, around Jefferson. Jefferson. Jefferson.